hi everyone welcome back to my channel Alfredo media and thank you guys for your continued support okay today i'll be talking about a nigerian lady who embarked on a trip to mozambique but unfortunately for her she got returned at the port of entry i'm going to share you our deal that's our experience and some of the things you can do to avoid this okay this lady works in one of the reputable companies in nigeria and she's got um she's well traveled that is she has a lot of travel experience um a boss sent her on this trip she got a hotel reservation a flight and that's a return flight and everything she checked on the internet according to the story the reason why i'm actually doing this video is because a lot of people said a write-up is too long that um, they need the write-up to be summarized so i just took that upon myself to make a short video about it to throw more light on the situation and to provide solutions to other nigerians who might want to embark on this same trip things they can do to avoid uh, being returned at the port of entry when they're going to mozambique okay all right so let me get back to it she a boss according to her got her a return ticket booked um an hotel for her and everything was in place she's got a lot of money and everything so uh, she went online to check she went online to check the requirements to travel to Mozambique. For Nigerians back home, uh, it's like a visa on arrival, but there's no Mozambican embassy in the country, both in Lagos and Abuja. So she jumped on a plane and traveled to um, Mozambique. According to her, after uh, a long hour's flight, when she got to the port of entry, the lady, the immigration officer that attended to her was not that um, fluent in English and she had to tell her to repeat herself on numerous occasions. I think she got angry about this and she requested for a letter from her host, but she was unable to present this. She was insisting that she doesn't need the letter from anybody since she's got um, a request an hotel reservation and she's got a, she's got um, a return ticket but the immigration officer and the lady in question were not communicating because they did not understand each other so well but um, at this point the immigration officer took a picture of a passport the return ticket and the hotel reservation i think she sent this information to one of her colleagues so after a lot of back and forth the another colleague came to the nigerian lady a man and according to her this man speaks um better english so they were able to communicate and the man told her that uh, she will not be able to enter the country because she did not get a letter from the host inviting her and all but she was like for nigerians to come to the country nigerians don't need a visa is like visa on arrival but he said yes but she needs to get a letter from a local there or someone who resides in the country that was to show that um there's somebody who is going to be accountable for her in i don't know the reason why they are doing this but normally if you have hotel reservation uh, that should take care of that but that's a rule is a rule that's their rule they said you have to get a letter from someone who stays there a resident that's the right word you have to get a letter from a resident so to cut the long story short she was told that she'll be returned home and she flew business class to the country so after a lot of back and forth she was issued a boarding pass which states economy back home and a passport was withheld they told her that a passport will be returned to her when she gets to the country she was very angry but there was nothing she could do and according to her she the flight is not like a direct flight is um, lagos to addis ababa addis ababa to mozambique so the return ticket they got her is maputo to addis ababa then addis ababa to lagos and according to her she said 
there was a layover that is a stopover in Addis Ababa for two hours. Um, normally, she should have gotten a visa in Ethiopia to enter the country, but because her passport was withheld, she said she slept on a steel chair at the airport for 12 hours before she could continue her journey. And according to her, she said the only uh, good thing about her experience was because the flight attendant um, saw the a disappointment in her face and after she narrated her ordeal to her she put her on business class but her ticket her original ticket was business class but the return ticket provided to her was economy but due to the goodwill of this uh, attendant she gave her a seat in business class so she said okay that was the only positive thing she got from this ordeal okay and so uh, she was, to cut the long story short, she was deported back to Nigeria because of this letter. So the reason I'm doing this video is I actually want to address these things you can do to avoid this. Okay, I know that uh, traveling from Nigeria to Mozambique is visa on arrival, but there are things you can do before you embark on this trip. Okay, I'm going to give you two things you can do to avoid this. The first thing to do is uh, you can send an email to i'm going to give you the email right now i'm going to uh, put it in the description below as well is uh, mi culture at mi culture point gov dot mz i'm going to spell it for the purpose of um, the people that did not hear that very well m i c u l t u r at m i c u l t u r dot g o v dot MZ. They send an email to this email address stating uh, with your with the bioductor page of your passport, the date of arrival and the possible date of return. When you do this, you an email will be sent back to you with uh, like a letter, a PDF stating um, this information sealed. When you arrive at the port of entry, you are going to present this letter to any immigration officer you see on duty. When you do this, then your visa will be issued to you. Alternatively, you can as well contact an agent in Mozambique. When you do so, um, the agent will prepare all the necessary documents you need for you and send it back to you via email. At the port of entry, you present this information when you do this, then your visa will be issued to you. Then lastly, you can also get a South African visa. When you get to South Africa, then you travel to Mozambique with a bus. The journey from South Africa to Mozambique is not uh, that long. It's between um, 3 hours 30 minutes to 4 hours with the, with the bus. Or you can as well travel with the train. You can also travel with the train from South Africa to Mozambique. So that's an alternative route. You can fly to South Africa with your visa, then go by bus or train to Mozambique. Okay, so that's the information I want to pass across to my fellow Nigerians and other people who want to embark on the trip to Mozambique. Just follow these instructions and when you do this, I believe um, you'll be fine. Okay? When you like this video, kindly give the video a thumbs up. A like and share on all social media platforms. Okay? And that's about it. And thank you for now and see you on the next one. Bye.